Hey, Chad here with ChanCar.net, LearnHoloLens.com. And uh, today I just want to tell you about a feature you may not uh, be familiar with here in Unity, and Unity Hub in particular, and uh, that is templates. So I'm sure you've probably recognized the 3D and 2D templates before where um, one will kind of give you the 2D view versus 3D view. It's still all the same scene, and even once you pick it, you can kind of switch between the two. And uh, that's pretty much what we had forever. Uh, but then in 2018.1, uh, uh, some other templates start showing up, including the high definition render pipeline, the lightweight um, render pipeline, and the lightweight render pipeline for VR. Pretty long name. Um, and of course, you still got your 2D and 3D. And you also have a 3D with extras. And the 3D with extras um, is uh, pretty much the 3D view, uh, but it adds in different pieces like um, post-processing effects and things that will really make the graphics pop. Um, so depending on what you're after, whether you're trying to do something just straight up for uh, the PC or maybe um, a console, now then you probably want to take a look at either 3D with extras or high definition render pipeline. If you're doing something for the HoloLens, um, then you probably want to take a look at the lightweight uh, render pipeline. If you're trying to do something for mixed reality, uh, then, you know, doing like the, the VR uh, type of thing, then you probably want to take a look at the lightweight um, render pipeline for VR. Now, when you take a look here at 2018.2, there's even some more options, okay? So the ones we just went through, um, but now we also have this uh, augmented reality basic and augmented reality sample. So let's take a look at the uh, 3D uh, with extras here. So right away you can actually see this is the 3D with extras and it's in preview and it's actually utilizing you know the post processing stack there in Unity. So if you want to have all these presets but not the material you can just come in here and actually delete the example assets right you can actually delete them or just you know disable them. If you want to know what's happening on the post processing uh, then you can actually take a look and see all the different post-processing effects and this is what's basically it's a post-processing shader that every single pixel is running through a uh, code to make it look a particular way okay so you can kind of get that stuff out of the box of course all this stuff takes uh, computing power so uh, depending on what you're trying to target this may or may not be uh, what you're after but if you're really trying to get uh, fantastic looks uh, in your game uh, with great shadowing and everything else uh, then you definitely want to kind of start here and only uh, remove things uh, when you start hitting bottlenecks in your game your app your experience now in order to get back to see uh, the thing it's just simply in the readme so if you select the readme that's where you'll come back uh, with the uh, bit on there and every single template has that readme so each of the new project templates, you know, share similar features um, because they share the same example content. And uh, the default contents, it's intended to showcase how to set up lighting and materials and post-processing, you know, for the best results on a particular uh, target platform. But again, if you don't actually want that, you know, the content, you just go in there and remove the example assets. And there's a blog post that actually talks about this over at uh, Blogs Unity 3D, you can just search for how to get the most out of the new Unity project templates. So it's up here, how to get the most out of the new Unity project templates. So it came out a little bit over a month ago. But if you take a look, the uh, reason I want to show you this right now is because you can actually see, based off 2017, uh, what the typical 3D looked like uh, versus 3D with extras and the post-processing effects and a much better lighting experience, something that you would kind of see in a AAA game versus uh, something that definitely looks very indie, if you will. Nothing wrong with indie. I'm indie. But, um, but again, out of the box now, you can actually have fantastic uh, lighting even when you don't have the skill set to know how to truly set that up. And that's all with inside this template. Now, if you're going to try to do this stuff with the hall lens, you're going to have an issue uh, because it's, it's post-processing in general is just not a smart thing to do on the hall lens. Uh, but it's going to be a little more uh, intensive for you. 
uh, but you may very well be get you may very well be able to get by with it um, using um, your virtual reality. So you can try it there. And if not, then you can jump back to one of the other templates. But but I know it's definitely a new feature here for the hub to actually have uh, these templates. And I just want to point it out here. So if you did want to try any of these and see um, how you want to start off with, you can definitely do that. Uh, there is something called the shader graph. Uh, from Unity that's kind of like the Amplify uh, shader tool. It's not quite as uh, developed as the Amplify, um, which is an asset in the store. Uh, but uh, the shader graph is free. It comes with Unity now, at least in 2018. And in order to utilize that, you need to utilize the lightweight uh, render pipeline. So if you're interested in knowing more about shader graph, leave me a comment on this video and let me know. And uh, I'll do a um, quick tutorial on the shader graph as well. But uh, for now, I just want to point out the different Unity templates, and uh, so you can kind of toy around and see what it is that you'd want to, how you want to uh, kickstart your latest game app or experience. Well, I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video.